Well, I'm in Hamburg and um, I was going to do a load of makeup videos, one on contouring, um, one on the new Urban Decay pencils and one on the new Chanel Rouge Coco shines. Um, but as you can probably tell, there's a massive echo in here. This is my, well, you call it a hotel, but it's pretty basic. Um, there's a bit of an echo and also the lighting, as you can see, is terrible. And I've got the tripod for my camera on the bed to get any light at all, so that's why it's a little bit wobbly. So what I am going to do is I'm going to do the usual model kit, um, what I've packed to bring with me. And um, I might do a little kind of uh, model kit, what's in my bag as well, because a lot of you have asked for that. Uh, but first of all, let's just go through some of the things that I've bought with me. And I might put a couple of them on. First of all, we've got the contouring powders. And I will do a separate video on these uh, when I get home and I've got proper lighting. This is one that I use a lot, it's the Avon Earthen Rose. It's really nice, very inexpensive. We've got NARS Little Darling, that's more pinky peachier than the, than the Earthen Rose. That's quite, it's kind of like a pale bronzer really, the other one I suppose. Um, another one that I'm absolutely adoring at the moment, which is um, a blusher by Estee Lauder. And that's shade 19, nude. And then two really nice creamy ones, because you can also use cream blush to contour. This is Urban Decay in Indecent. Um, that's not actually released yet, but it will be in a couple of weeks' time. And this is a Lip and Cheek Tint by Becca in Blossom. That's kind of a lot glossier and creamier than the Urban Decay. So I'm just going to pop a bit of the Earth and Rose on. Just underneath the cheekbone there and to the sides of the temples. That's just a really quick way of giving your face a bit of structure. And you should work with your natural shape anyway. Um, you know, don't just go putting stripes down your face and hoping that it will work, because invariably it won't. So yes, I brought all of those things through security. Um, and got pulled over and asked why I had so many powders and liquids and things like that. And now I'm probably not even going to use them. Number seven, Beautifully Matte Foundation. Absolutely love it. Estee Lauder Disappear Concealer, my new favourite. Brushes that I was going to use for the contouring video from number seven. Um, the Black Board by Orly, which is a really um, gritty kind of nail file, it files them down really fast. It's probably not the best thing for your nails, but I like it because it's quick. Um, a Knackered Cow Relaxing Body Lotion from Cow Shed. A Nail Polish Remover from Deborah Lippmann. This is Stripper to go, and it's like a little lavender mitt, and you put it over your finger and take the rest of your nail varnish off. It's really, really nice. I've used that before hair products because I'm shooting tomorrow and obviously my hair's got to be clean. I'm here for three days actually and I've done a shoot already, a cover shoot. Um, so I'm shooting my big job tomorrow which is a campaign for a beauty company. And so I've got to look tip top. I'm going to use John Masters Organics Lavender Rosemary Shampoo for normal hair. So I haven't tried that before. And I'm going to use John Masters Organics Lavender and Avocado Intensive Conditioner tell you how those go. Dove deodorant, boring. I mean it's not boring, I use it every day but it's boring for you. Um, this mask which is a soothing and calming mask by Alpha H um, which I've been meaning to use for a while because uh, I think this would be quite good for after I've been shooting and had a lot of makeup put on and taken off so um, I'm interested to know how that is because I really like their products. Paracetamol haven't needed those, thank goodness. This is a new um, eye cream launch from Bliss Spa and it's the fabulous everyday eye cream. Now I have always used the all around eye cream and um, this is basically its successor. So they're taking away the um, all around eye cream and this is the everyday eye cream. Same kind of formula but it's got a load of improvements and stuff and I really like it. Kind of, 
and it smells a, a bit fruitier and it's and I think it feels a bit lighter and more easily absorbed but um, I'll do a straight comparison between them and let you know. I also have some Aveda Smooth Infusion that's like a pre-styling um, conditioner but I don't think I'll need that because I have a feeling that the John Masters conditioner is going to be pretty intensive. Bioderma in an Aveda fillable, refillable bottle. Uh, take this with me everywhere. Clinique High Impact Mascara. Now, interestingly, the one thing that I forgot to pack was the most important thing. Uh, actually, two things. I completely forgot to pack a moisturiser and I completely forgot to pack a lip balm, which is a bit stupid. Got toothpaste and toothbrush, but they're in the bathroom. Um, so that was a bit annoying, really. I've been quite stuck. So I had to go out today um, and find a shop that was open. Everything closes in Hamburg on a Sunday. But the shops in the central station were open. So I went and bought myself what used to be one of my favourite, favourite face creams, which is Dr. Hauschka's Rose Cream. If you haven't tried this and you've got kind of very dry skin, then this is such a beautiful face cream. And to conquer the lip balm problem, I've been using my Chanel uh, Coco Rouge Shines because I'm testing these out for review. Um, these aren't actually out yet, I think they launch on March the 11th. Um, I was also going to do a bit of a video on the Urban Decay pencils, which I've been practicing with because I'm doing a proper big video on those. Um, these are so nice. Big old crayon pencils. that are quite blendable when you first put them on. But then just like the Urban Decay eyeliners, they uh, set completely fast and you, you then can't kind of smudge them or move them. And they stay on for the whole entire day. That might have been Midnight Cowboy that I just put on. And now I'm just whacking on um, darker shade, this is called Rehab, and I'm using the new Urban Decay Blender Brush just to blend that darker shade out into the original colour. I apologise, it's not a Midnight Cowboy, it's Sin. I'm just going to do a bit of liner in Bourbon. So yes, quite an exciting launch really that one. Um, I'm just going to show you as well this blush by RMK, this is the new spring summer collection. This is blush number three in rose. It's also in another video but I just really like it. So I brought it with me. But as it happens I haven't really had a chance to wear any makeup because it's just been absolutely tipping it down with rain so today I didn't really want to go anywhere and so I kind of went to the station, got my moisturiser and came straight back. So no one to really see my makeup. Um, I've just spotted this. It's my Flow um, perfume dispenser. It's got Chanel Mademoiselle in it, Coco Mademoiselle, and a sachet of L'Oreal LV. Bizarrely, I don't know where that came from. That made it through security checks without even being in my clear plastic security bag. Interesting earplugs and that's it. Um, so that's what was in my model kit. I'm now going to do a little video about what's in my bag in case anybody's remotely interested. So um, and then I'm going to go to bed because it's late and I'm shooting early tomorrow. So thank you for watching. Make sure that you're subscribed and um, if you're not following on the website then you should be because I do daily updates of things like behind the scenes photos on my jobs and um, reviews and things like that. So get on over there and follow by Google Connect or you can do email subscription, either are good, uh, or just bookmark it. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.